Hey guys, welcome back to another Naruto Shinobi Striker video, and today we're going to do something different. It's very different to what, what, what you usually do or anyone does. So today we're going to try and find out what's the quickest way to travel around the map. Literally, like what jutsu combinations or what, like whatever is what is the quickest way to get from one end of the map to the other end. So the way we're going to do this is right now. Look, let me show you. We're in the hidden rain, and I'm I'm going to run from this side of this pillar to that side the reason i'm doing in the hidden rain is because this is like the only type of straight path i found in any of the maps so here we go here's the first one this is how long it takes for me to just run st straight normally it takes me about 16 seconds if i run from that pillar to the one on the end so about 16 seconds for just running so that's going to be like our normal so now we're going to do charge jumps and that takes about 13 seconds so you can see charge jumps are actually if 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 you if you have time right they're worth it they're much faster than actually running. But obviously we don't I, we didn't test test uh, kunai wires. So anyway next we're gonna move on to our attack type uh, uh, jutsu. So here we go here's the first one the lariat and the uh, lightning blade. So doing this as you can see is actually pretty fast. It's about 11.51 seconds. So it's not as far, it's not that fast compared to charge jump, which was 13 seconds. So this is roughly 12 seconds. So next we're gonna try the next speed build for the attack, and this is with the teleportation jutsu and the lightning blade. So here we go. So this is a little bit faster than the lariat. It's about 10 10.15 seconds, so about 10 seconds. The other one was about 12 seconds. So you you save about two seconds by doing this one. So th I think the teleportation and the lightning blade are probably the best kind of fastest way to move around the map for attack types. So now let's go on to range types. And first we're gonna do Kamui lightning blade and the Chidori. So this is very similar to the Lariat and the lightning blade, a little bit faster, it's 11.25 seconds. So it's closer to 11 seconds and 12 seconds. As you can see so next obviously range have so much more speed ones also we're not doing defense and healer types because they don't really have any speed ones like movement wise I mean I know defense has that um, uh, that subterranean voyage but still it's not that good so here we go next we have the hiding and ash jutsu and the light then the Chidori so this was actually super fast so as you can see hiding and ash and then we just speed through I mean hiding and ash is already a really fast jutsu and then a Chidori, uh, and that's about 10 seconds, literally, just almost on the dot, 10 seconds. So that's so far, that's our fastest one. So hiding in Ash Jutsu and Chidori, it's about 10 seconds. So next, we're going to do the hiding Ash Jutsu with the Kamui. Okay, so this Kamui, so Kamui obviously is one of the best Jutsus because you're invincible and also in the great in increase in speed. So this was about 9.9 .9 seconds, almost exactly the same as the hiding in Ash and Chidori. So not too much of a difference. So next we're gonna check the obviously Angelic Advent, which is probably the most popular jutsu for you know capture the flag and stuff because how fast you can actually move and how long it lasts. So first we're gonna try Chidori and the Angelic Advent together. So here we go. So that's the Chidori. And this takes about 9.7 seconds, almost the same as the Ash hiding in Ash Jutsu and the Kamui. So not that much of a difference, it's pretty good. And then finally, the best jutsu combination see how fast you go it's the kamui with the angelic advent so if you put them together you just look at this look at this you just speed through the map so this was about 8.29 seconds so this is about double the speed if you were to just run so let me show you that again so here we go so kamui and then angelic advent so this is about eight seconds so this is double the speed as it would be if you were just running there so it's really cool and then finally, so basically that's the fastest jutsus and the fastest ways you can get around the map. The Kamui with the Angelic Advent is obviously overpowered and that's the fastest way. But not, that's the fastest like jutsus, but not the fastest way you can move around the map. Obviously, the fastest way is this one here, which is the Flying Raijin and the Teleportation Jutsu. And I'm going to show you how fast this is. Look at this. So this, <laughs> look, I'm just already there. It takes about four seconds. So about half the time that the Angelic Advent does. So let me show you that again. I mean, I just teleport there. I mean, it's not even, you can't even see where I am. I mean, this is why Minuto is such an overpowered character in Naruto. It takes him four seconds to go around the whole hit village. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So flying Raijin with the teleportation is the fastest way to move around the map. But the thing is that I actually had to place my kunai, go that way and go back. So I don't really want to count it. But if you want to count it, that is the fastest way with Four, like 4.5 sec 4. Uh, like three seconds that's how fast you can move from one end 
of um, an um, app to another end, which is about a quarter of how long it would take for you to just run there. So Kamui, Kamui with the Angelic Admin is the fastest, and then the Flying Raijin with Teleportation Jutsu is, well, the, mo the fastest fastest. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video to show you what's the fastest ways of moving around the map and uh, you know just a quick test to show you so you know if you i mean it could work very well if you're using the flying raijin teleportation you could uh, you know place your kunai and then capture the flag and just teleport i mean you've already won the match at that point but it's just hard to time it because because it goes away so anyway, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this video, you know, subscribe and like, I know you want to do that, please, there's going to be a lot more videos, I know, I, I still love Shinobi Striker, uh, thanks for the support, and goodbye.